What's up, guys? Welcome back to Baddie Life Podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Raquel motherfucking Santiago. I meant, hold on, Rocky Raquel PTSD Santiago. <laughs> um, I've missed you guys. I feel like I haven't been here in a long time. Noah, my daughter's here. Noah. Shh. Shh, shh. Okay, I know, but please be quiet. Thank you. Um, so today we have a great <laughs> special guest. I know you guys all have so many questions for her and I'm excited to interview her today. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to my sponsor, I Love Bombshell. I mean, my hair's up, but my hair still looks bomb. <laughs> um, and make sure you check us out on Spotify, Apple Music and iHeartRadio and whatever the other one is. And OnlyFans, OFTV. So with that being said, let's get right to it and let's introduce and welcome Luchi V. I'm like the audience. <laughs> What's popping? What's up, girl? <laughs> girl, you crazy. Oh my god. So first of all, I was like wanting to get my eyebrows pierced and I totally fucking forgot that you have like your whole face pierced. Did those hurt? No. Okay. They hurt at all. Um, what about the cheeks? I mean, I wouldn't do the cheeks just because I wouldn't do the cheeks. <laughs> I'd be too scared. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was a doozy. Oh a fuck! Movie. But the eyebrows, the eyebrows were cool. Were real easy though. I got both of them done at the same time. That's what I was thinking, but I saw this girl. She had them like right in the middle of her eyebrows. Yeah, that's how they wanted to do, man. But since I have my eyebrows micro shaded and my arch is like right here, oh, it looks weird when they put it in the middle. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about like just like maybe like just gluing something just to see what it would look like first before I did it. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, glue some shit. No. I. I but you know I'm laughing because that's what I be doing when I want a new kiss. I be gluing like two stones on and shit, trying to see if I'm gonna like it or not. Right, you gotta like kind of see what it looks like. Wait, but I think you will have brow rings though. I mean, I I just want something different. I want to add something. Like sometimes I get bored with myself, and I'm like, fuck, I want to get a tattoo on my neck. My mom's pissed off about it, but I'm gonna do that soon. Um. I can see it though on your face. I can see it already. I can picture the eyebrows. Okay, the eyebrow cool. Ring. Hell yeah. I like that. <laughs> um, so what the fuck? Uh, let's just start from the beginning, man. You were on BGC nine, Mexico, mm -hmm. right? Well, yeah, well, you were with my my ex girlfriend Zuli, right? Was Zuli? Were, you were gone. I was in the house with Zuli though. I didn't meet her till the reunion. Okay, you was gone. Yeah. How was that experience for you? Did you love it? Hate it? What was your favorite part? Um, it was interesting. <laughs> And it was completely different than what it looks like on TV. And it's really crazy because I was really close with um, Tiffany from season three. And she was giving me a lot of advice during my casting process. And all she kept telling me was, it is not going to be like what you think is going to, what you see on TV. And I'm like, nah, I know what's going on. I know what's going to happen. No, I didn't know what the fuck was going on or what right. was going to happen. But um, I don't know. My experience wasn't terrible um it's just the fact that i was in mexico and i kept getting sick from different shit out there like that was the worst part yeah. of it. But I feel like my experience wasn't really terrible but the thing that i didn't realize was that this is like a part of my everyday life now forever like yeah. even if i want to talk about this shit whatever like motherfuckers gonna comment something i don't understand motherfuckers <laughs> gonna comment you ain't saying nothing to Rocky when Rocky says something like somebody gonna comment something. Like, Bro, I try to do your dance. I try to do your dance. At, what was it? All Star Battle One. I was so shit faced when I found out my dad died. I was like, <laughs> and I left. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was sad. But that experience was so different than the regular BDC. Like that was so weird. Was it not weird? It was very weird. It was weird, girl. I was weird. really <laughs> fucking weird. I was just like, I was over it. I mean, I didn't give a fuck at that point. I was, I don't know, at that time, like, you know, I was going through something really, really deep and, and no money was worth my, mm -hmm. me being stressed out with a bunch of fucking psycho ass bitches. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was like, do you remember, like, when we first got there, it was so stupid. Like, they had us in them fucking horse stables for, like, two hours, freezing cold, hungry as fuck. Like, dog. It was weird. I didn't even like the producer, that one guy. in this motherfucker. It was fun, though. Like, I liked doing the challenges. I liked, you know, me and you had that challenge. Yeah, see, you athletic and shit, though. Like, you you do that. Like, me, a bitch like me, no. I'm I, I, I'm going to come, I don't want to fight and get over with. Like, I don't want to be climbing on shit. Could I please say... Hanging off the of shit. When I had to go up against you, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, no, oh my God. Her one leg is two of mine combined. I was like, oh fuck. She's going to get my ass. I wasn't for you, bitch. First of all, I underestimated you. I underestimated you because you a strong ass bitch. You feel me? Like, you're strong as fuck, sister. <laughs> I didn't know. I got up there with you. I'm like, all right, I'm going to knock a little skinny ass off. I'm going to eye. Then you got the eye. I'm like, hold on. Ah. Ah. That's how it looks. She's like training from wrestling on this motherfucker. Hold on, bitch. Wait a minute. That, that's why I had to pull you in with me now. And I want to clarify that too, because you was mad at me when I pulled you in the water. You was like, bitch. And I tried to apologize like 10 times and you was not trying to hear it. You like, nah, bitch. Nah, you pulled me by my hair. So let me clarify that. Yo, you remember when they gave us the rules that was like, if you make the person fall in the water with you, y'all can reset. So as I'm falling in, I was just trying to grab on anything to make your ass fall in with me. And I just so happened to grab your hair on accident. And I pulled you in. So I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know they said that. I tried to apologize to this bitch all night, y'all, and she was not hearing it. She was like, no, no. Well, girl, you know what? At first, like, um, I think because we rematched a couple of times, um, you hurt your leg, and I was like, oh, fuck, and I helped you up. You know, I wasn't no, like, weird motherfucker. I'm like, I play fair. And, Mm -hmm. like, I just felt at that moment I was mad because I wasn't sure if if I was going to win, like, that challenge. I'm like, bro, if I got to do this shit again, dog, because I'm not, you were not easy, dog. Like, that was a really fucking... That was a competition. Like it wasn't just like I got you in the water. We were we were at it for a fucking minute. I'm, that was one of the hardest challenges I've done. <laughs> that was fun. That was like a really fun experience. I would love to do um something like that again. Like not like Bad Girls All Star Battle, but just some other type of competition show. I think that would be so much the fun. Challenge? The challenge ain't fuck with us bad girls, bitch. You gotta be on they let, they let the one bad girl on there, the girl um uh Angela. Yeah, but she was on another MTV show before that. Are you the one or or X on the beach? You got to be mm. on a MTV show first before you can get on the challenge. That's what. Girl, I, that's now what we right. gotta pretend like we X's and go on X on the beach so we can go on there. <laughs> For real, <laughs> I know. I don't know. I was thinking if I ever won that show, who the fuck would they call? They'd probably call Zuli. I was about to say, you know who they gonna call, bitch? Zuli. They go. Gonna- <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not a lesbian. Zuli. Me. Ah! <laughs> no, she was the guy. I was the girl. Uh, okay. Are you? You're bisexual, right? Or no? Mm-hmm. You have a girlfriend? No. You got a boyfriend? Something like that. Okay. Oh, you, <laughs> you got a sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a situation where. I guess I guess you could kind of say he's my boyfriend, basically. Like, we met, like, five years ago. And when we first fucked with each other, like, it just was, like... It was kind of, like, one of them situations. You know how I'd be, like, the right person, wrong time? Yeah. Because, like, he was not on his shit. He was so immature. He was not doing what the fuck I needed to be done. Yeah. Fast forward five years later, now he on his shit. He be, you know, treating me real right. You know, he's doing it in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> and he be eating this motherfucker off the bone, like... Oh, that's a saying, huh? Because I've seen that before. So, yeah. Well, that's cool. Like, you didn't really give up on him. Like, you obviously knew he was a good person. It just wasn't the right time. Like, he needed to grow up a little bit. Yeah, because, I mean, I had went and got a girlfriend on his ass and everything. Like, I had went on about my business. He had got a girlfriend, too, she is. So, some that's more on his level at the time. Exactly. Exactly. I feel it. Howdy. I He's totally like, feel that. That girl name is hell. I told you. <laughs> Lame Lame as hell. The fuck? Act like you know. Act like you know. How did like you get your rapper name? My rapper name, Lucci V, came from Susan Lucci. Um, she played a, a character called Erica Kane on the um, you know, like the soap operas. It was one that's been on for like ever. All my children. Yeah. And my mom does hair, so I used to be in hair salon with her. 
and they'll be watching the little soap operas. And the lady Erica Kane, like, was like the most popular character. And you know, my government name is Erica. So every time, like, people be like, What's your daughter's name? And she'll be like, Erica. And they'll be like, Like Erica Kane. And I used to be like, No, bitch, like me, the fuck. <laughs> but as I got older and I learned about the character, like, she was just like a baddie, basically. Like, yeah. men used to be on her. She was fashion forward and stuff like that. So I took the Lucci from Susan Lucci and did that Lucy V. The V is from my original stage name, which was Sneaker Vixen. The V for Vixen. So Lucy V. Okay. That's cool. So you do um you do a lot of music. Um mm -hmm. and honestly, like I think I've whatever I've seen like online, bitch, like you popping. Your mute and your and your videos are really nice. Like you're doing the damn thing. Like what are your plans with, with music? Cause I feel like um, some people like, like don't really I mean, we all, I feel like this, hold up. Let me try to say this right. Some people don't get enough credit where it's due. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what I was trying to say. I don't know why it took so hard. But yeah, what are your uh, what are your plans like going forward and stuff? Um, Basically just keeping my foot on their necks. Like I just feel like everybody got their time. And right now everything is just pretty much oversaturated. Like everybody want to do music right now for whatever reason. Like the models want to do music the motherfucking doctors want to do music. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to rap right now because it's the cool thing and it seems like it's so glamorized and so easy. Yeah. And it's marketable so too. Yeah. And it's just like people don't even really know how to rap right now. They just not make a catchy little song or people like their personality. So they'd be like, okay, I'm going to support that music, you know? So I'm just waiting for my time. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like for a long time, I've been wanting to just be like, oh, I want to be that it girl in the rapper scene. But now that I'm ready, I realized I wasn't ready for all these years for what's to come with the spotlight and, like, the the work that goes into this shit. Like, I was not mentally ready for a lot of shit. Like, me, I'm so confident in myself right now. Like, it can, it's not shit nobody can tell me. Like, oh, you got too many piercings. Oh, your tattoos. Oh, you this and that. Like, I don't give a fuck because I love me. I do this shit for me. I feel comfortable in myself now. A few years ago, I'm, it may have been harder for me, like, to deal with all that, like, criticism and shit. Like, right now, I've never been more ready in my life. So, yeah. I feel like it's all in God's time. And I feel mm -hmm. like he knew I wasn't ready for more than, you know what I'm saying? At the handle. time, what you could handle. Yeah, because even being on TV is just so much. It's like a whole different ball game that nobody really understands. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like... I Hey, jazz on here yeah jazz was telling me i was gonna ask you about that i was yeah. to say like that is so awesome of you to like be her like guidance through the shit because she told me like she, you were like kind of like mentored her like helped her get through that hard time that she was going through and i was like that's a real ass bitch right there so good for really? you bitch. she, said that? Oh she asked so i interviewed last week she said that she reached out to you and, and you helped her you helped her like yeah. deal with what she was going through because she was going through a bad time with everything. Yeah, like, I was explaining to her, like, before, I met her before her season aired, like, you know, we, we end up linking up right before her season aired or whatever, and I was just warning her, like, basically, like, it's gonna be way more overwhelming than what you're thinking, like, because even me on the outside looking in, I would be seeing shit, even my friends, they'd be seeing shit like, why do so-and-so be clapping back at people? You just ignore it. It's easier to say that shit when you don't have thousands of people just commenting on your shit, saying shit about you that's not true, saying, you know what I'm saying, just bogus ass shit about you. It's way easier when you're not in a position to be like, I would just ignore that. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But then when I got in the actual position, it's like, I can't ignore it because sometimes I be wanting to, bitch, that motherfucker playing with you, know what I'm saying? So she was kind of telling me like, oh, I can handle it. It ain't going to be nothing. And I, and I was like, I'm trying to let you know right now, mm -hmm. it's not going to be anything like you're thinking. And her episode aired, the first episode, she called me crying like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, I told you. Yeah. But, you know, I got a lot of slack for even being her friend because, you know, she wasn't liked a lot on her season. You know about the fans. I know. Even and right I, now. I, I fuck, I'm rocking with you in real life because she's she's a really sweet girl. So She really is. So even like right now, um. Are my my uh podcast is up on like the the blogs and stuff and like I saw a comment she commented I think the other day and it was like why are y'all bashing me from like something that happened eight years ago da, da, da. and like it was like really heartfelt and like it was I've been so busy like usually I delete shit but obviously I can't delete it if it's on posted on somebody else's uh page mm -hmm. but like it's just the the ignorance from people from ten years ago still bashing somebody for something that they did ten years ago like. For me, mm -hmm. I'm not biased at all. Like, 
I will have anybody on here. Everybody, I don't, ha I don't have no beefs with nobody. Like maybe a couple people, but you know, not really, not really anybody. And like, I don't know. I just, I just, you know, we're, we are a sisterhood, and like we all fuck up. We all do stupid shit, and it is what it is. It doesn't need to be held against us forever, but it is. Like this shit is. Like she'll never get away from that shit. We will never Ever. get away from this shit. This will always be a dance. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like forever with us. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. It's hard to handle the shit. People don't realize like they always want to bark it, bark and pick and shit. But if you was in our shoes, like you wouldn't even last. A lot of these people wouldn't mentally and emotionally even be able to deal with this shit. They'd be in the fucking like rehab on meds or some shit girl be then jumped out the window or something like i be trying to tell people that i'm like y'all like y'all don't even be knowing what somebody going through mentally before you try to come troll go out your way to come on somebody's page to try to say something hurtful or try to you know what i'm saying you don't know right. what somebody already going through mentally because at the end of the day yes we are celebrities popular whatever you want to consider us as i know some people be like yeah i'm not famous not, whatever you want to say <laughs> we're not you know who the fuck we are we don't know who we are basically Okay, like, yeah, like, girl, <laughs> like, girl, girl. You, you would not be able to take all the shit, but you don't. People be assuming that we don't go through stuff like mentally, like we don't get depression and anxiety and shit like that. And it's like we do. We still human beings too. So people need to think about that or be a little more considerate before you just come trying to troll on a motherfucking page. Because I could be on the verge of a breakdown right now, and then your one little comment could be what sent me over the edge. And y'all don't even be thinking about that shit. Just right. Be mad at a bitch that you don't even know. Right. Off some edited television show <laughs> do you do you struggle with um with emotional problems like i mean i'm very open about it i'd be depressed i got ptsd i got adhd i got anxiety <laughs> what the fuck? girl yeah i through depression and anxiety i've done some youtube videos talking about it and everything okay but <clears throat> it's like the stuff that the people say online though never really bothers me though at first, for me, uh, when I was first on the TV, and um, I used to read everything. Like it was at first, it was like it was um addicting. You know what I mean? Like you're just on TV, you want to know what everybody's talking about, and like you're just in it. Mm -hmm. And then after months and months of just being so overwhelmed and consumed with the shit, like it took so much from me. It took such a big toll on me. Like I was a real funny ass bitch. I was didn't give a fuck about if I had an ugly ass photo of me, if I did an ugly face, I didn't care. And then all of a sudden I started caring. I'm like, wait, I don't want to post that because of people are going to say this. And like, it was fucked up. It took me a long time to really get over this shit. Like it took me a long time to like actually come back to myself. Cause I think I judged yeah. myself too much just like everybody else did. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I start, I was reading the stuff too much, too. Like it got to the point where me and Megan used to just like completely not go on social media on whatever day, what day is Tuesdays, Mondays, whatever the fuck day. It was Tuesdays. It was Tuesdays after a while. Yeah. Me and Megan <laughs> used to just set the time and we would just talk to each other, like on the phone or tech, whatever, during the time we were like, fuck it. We're not going on social media yeah. for the whole rest of the night. And we will, cause it would just be so overwhelming. It would be so much. Like I'm going to tell you right now, I don't even read the damn comments still to this day it's been years i mean i might you know scan through them like bgct i don't fuck with bgct because that platform is really just nothing but haters and they just bash us bad and i'm talking like the craziest ugliest nastiest comments ever in the world are on the on that um blog page um i actually just scammed through there because i wanted to see what they were posting about you like just you know so we can get some things to talk about and i saw they posted a picture of me and my daughter from last week mm -hmm. i didn't even look at it i was like nope not reading shit because it's been pissing the fuck off people are mean people are so fucking mean why would they post you for your baby i told them to stop it's been years so i need to remind them because i had a picture of me and my daughter they called her like you know a monkey and they they said they should have stabbed me with the fork when i was pregnant or some crazy sh like crazy shit i'm like bro like either delete the comments that are like you know vivid and nasty like that or don't post me and my kid ever again so i gotta right. just remind them i don't even go on there i don't even follow them but yes girl well, it's just crazy on none of the pgc pages i don't <laughs> even want it to, i don't follow none of them i don't look on none of them yeah like pgct hates me so they always they hate me the too way. they hate me too bitch <laughs> Any, if it's something bad about me, they're gonna post it. The worst picture of the world of me, they're gonna post it. They do not like me, baby. And I don't mean either. That's why I don't even follow them. Um, from like BGC Nine, is there anybody like that you still have beef with right now? Like, or is there anybody that you just don't like, or you guys all cool? No, I mean I don't have beef with anybody. Like, 
Especially from my season. Like, I don't know who the fuck was on my... I don't even barely remember who was on my season. Like, um, Rima. Oh. Julie. Oh, Julie. Julie, I'm cool with Julie. I love Julie. I don't know Julie. I, I mean, we really followed each other on my old Instagram, but I don't know Julie. Um, I for, The girl, uh, what's her name? Fallon? The girl, I don't know. Nothing she got Barbie. going on in her life. Fallon, don't know nothing she got going on in her life. Megan is the only person I really talked to. Well, Christina. Okay. How is Christina? I haven't spoke to her. I mean, me and her kind of have a little fallout. Not really fallout, but she stopped talking to me. And then I was like, that's not cool. I'm not really digging it. Because we was talking a lot for a minute. And then all of a sudden, boom, like gone. And I'm like, okay, she must be hanging out with Natalie again. Speaking of Natalie again. um, Let's rewind a little bit. Okay, so I know people want to kind of hear about like this whole OnlyFans thing that we had. And I'm going to tell you right now, like, for me, when we were all trying to set that shit up, like, it was, like, I was never the one that was, like, uh, I never not wanted you there or the twins, really. But everybody else was like, oh, the twins are just too much, too much of this. And um, mm -hmm. you're you're really cool with them. So I feel like you kind of just, like, fell by default. But for me, I didn't care about, I, I wanted everybody to be there, but I really just wanted to hang out with Shannon. So, like, I just, like, let whatever happen. I wasn't going to argue about nobody. I wasn't argue about shit. I was like, whatever. Like, whatever y'all want to do, it, we'll do it. But, like, I really wanted to see my best friend because I haven't seen her in a long time. But um, with that being said, I mean, look look what happened anyway. You know what I'm saying? We made, you know, we made $58,000 in two weeks on the OnlyFans page. And what happened 58, to Well, 10000 went to... Uh, what was it? Ten thousand went. What did ten thousand dollars go to? Production, <laughs> production, uh, the house, and uh, security. More than that, actually, I think we spent maybe like fifteen thousand. We all had to buy our own tickets and get reimbursed and shit like that. But uh, and then we had to split it between like seven people, or whatever. But anyway, the point was. We made that much money in two weeks based off of subscriptions and going live. We didn't produce not one episode. You know what I'm saying? We didn't even have the chance to do that because it was just a fucking shit show anyway. We were set up with Zeus and all that. Like that shit was, it was, I mean, you didn't really miss out on anything is all I gotta say. But the point was we had something that was great. We could have kept going. We all could, everybody could have been eating like a motherfucker right now. If we would have just like, mm -hmm. if it was honest and real and if we weren't getting like, played out and you know scammed but um yeah so i mean i wish that we could have like relived that like redone it and like did it the right i mean we thought we did it the right way we had paperwork bitch we all had paperwork that's why sarah was able to use our footage and fucking make money off of her own shit on only fans because i was we... gonna say i'm about to say didn't i see sarah release it on her own like girl was... girl like, <laughs> me and me and Sarah, we, me and her really do need to talk because, like, I thought she was my friend, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so she had the footage. She got the footage, which took her forever to get from the guy. Like, it was just so bad. But then she started, um, you know, releasing it on her own OnlyFans. But we all had release forms with our with our um IDs like this, and she had everybody's picture. So she submitted it to OnlyFans, like, hey, look it. I have her release form with her picture and her ID. So to them, it looked super, super legit. I know, girl, I'm just, I haven't <laughs> even spoke about this shit because it's like, it is what it is. I got burned by somebody that like, I never did anything to. That's like people like that. Like it makes you hate bitches or not trust bitches at all. Like mm -hmm. at the fuck off. But I would like love to like do, you know, something Hold on. Well, I'll talk to you about that soon. On a side note, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are you and Judy cool? Like, what hap What's up with the drama between you and Judy? Yeah, Judy and I are cool. Like, the thing with me and Judy, <laughs> on my end, it was never any beef. Like, the thing is, like, when me and Judy get into it, it'd be me responding to something that she has said. But... Me and Judy have done this for, uh, like, 12 years now. Like, me and I was friends before either one of us did the Bad Girls Club. Like, we've done this for years now. Like Fight, break you, up, fight, break up. Yeah, but it'd be like, I don't be doing nothing, though, is the thing. Like, I don't be doing nothing to her. It's her own, like, 
things that she makes up in her head, but you know, we've done this off and on for years. Okay. Like she'll be just randomly waking up and being mad at me and talk shit about me online and then she'll see me and be like I love you. you. Know, <laughs> And then she'll just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I love you. Yeah. And she'll get drunk again and hate me again and then be back so well on me again. Ooh. Okay. This final time, we had a talk and I told her, like, look, bitch, we don't even be into it about nothing. Yeah. Like, it don't even be like, if you ask her what we into it about, it's, it, it would be zero. And there's no answer. It's just like, yeah, you, it's nothing. So this last time we got into it or whatever, I'm like, look, G, like, I don't know what was the issue, but I don't want to keep doing this back and forth shit with a motherfucker who I don't even have a problem with. Like, you had a problem with me. So she said this is our final time making up everybody <laughs> and that she is not going to get drunk and start talking shit about me again. I so love hopefully, Judy. Hopefully this is the final straw. Yeah, maybe not. But I love... You know, regardless of, like, everything, um, you know, I did that season 13 with her, and, like, she just acted like a complete weirdo and, like, just ran with Natalie and Sarah because she thought that was going to be, like, the, the meal ticket or <laughs> something. I don't fucking know. And I was just, like, so, like, kind of brought back. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I love her, and, like, she's my favorite, and, like, we were always cool, and then, like, it's just weird how people just switch up and just do certain things just to get certain places Y'all um, last was drinking like Stone Cold Steve Austin together on All Star Battle Beach. Y'all was waiting. <laughs> da, 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 I don't da, even da, remember All Star Battle. Crushing them beers together, bitch. What I remember it was nine o'clock in the morning, bitch. Yo ass walking through the house. Yo ass, cream, them fucking beer cans, bitch. Me and Judy, fucking like Stone Cold Steve Austin, bitch. <laughs> So they had put, remember they put Judy on a liquor limit. They told her she couldn't drink no liquor. So she snuck and got the beers from you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I would do something like that. Oh, Judy. Girl, I was so drunk the whole time there. I don't remember anything. I really don't. I don't remember. None of the shit. Huh? You don't remember none of the shit. I don't remember shit. I remember just that. I you was drunk as fuck, though. The only, you? the only challenge I remember was the one with me and you. And I think that's the only one I had, right? That I left. <laughs> Wait, was that the only one you did? I think I only did one. I was there for one one day, a couple days. Yeah, really? I went I only did one. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I do remember you was waking right up drinking. You were yeah. drunk. You were I was going through right PTSD. Right I just left Bad Girls Club, the first one, the, my first show. I just left that shit and went right to that one. So I was like fucking I was not okay. I was tripping. I was hella tripping. Um, we fuck, was I was fucking, we was motherfucking eating breakfast. Your ass was drinking drinks like fuck a bagel, bitch. I need a beer. Fuck you <laughs> I'm still like that girl. <laughs> uh, fuck, I was gonna say some shit and I just lost my train of thought. Um, fuck. Okay, what about since let's go back to uh the the beef and the dramas, um. God, what was I going to say? Whatever. Uh, I have some notes. Okay. Everybody wants to know. So, are you cool with Natalie? Or how is your relationship with Natalie? Is there one? Um, I don't have beef with her. Okay. I just will say that She's somebody that I probably would never be friends with. Um, can I be cordial with her? Can I work with her? Can I do another project with her or something like that? Like, yeah, of course. I feel like I could work with anybody. I could be cordial with anybody. Is she somebody that I would ever want to just be like, oh, we besties kid? No, absolutely not. And mm -hmm. the reason why I really feel like I'm not upset because a lot of people who know like the backstory with me and baddies and all that just felt like, Oh, I should really be mad and upset with her. The only reason why I'm really not is because I know who this lady is. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I expect anything more from her than besides being who she is. Like, I don't expect her to be a good friend to me. I don't expect her to be loyal to me. I don't expect her to have my back or anything like that. Like I just expect her to be Natalie. Like yeah. I know she's not a, good person like i know she's not a bitch that's known for being a loyal friend and you know what i'm saying yeah, no definitely I so i expect her to be exactly who she has shown us over the years who she is and i think that's the problem with a lot of people with her like they be feeling like oh i thought she was my friend Ooh. 
And that's what's kind of irritated me, like all the comments about me, like, oh, you did all that ass kissing on Natalie and then you still didn't get on the show and all this and that. Like, the thing is, like, I don't have to kiss nobody ass to do anything that has to do with the Bad Girls Club. Like, the, I don't understand shit speaks for itself. It's legendary. Like, so anytime anything has to do with the Bad Girls Club come up, I'm going to get mentioned regardless. I don't Girl. have to kiss nobody ass. But this is the thing. You know, we had the first little OnlyFans falling out situation like that. I got back cool with all of y'all. I don't see why. Yeah, no, only- you are you are not that type of person to like hate or be like salty. Like I've I've yeah. over the years I, I've seen that. Like you're definitely not that. If anything, you could. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I remember OnlyFans. I didn't you get a check? You got a check, right? Or did they not give you a check? Me and Shannon oh. gave up our checks. Me, Shannon, and Jada. Did you get a check? Jada gave it to you, right? Jada sent me some money. Okay, that was our first check. We all got paid our first little, like, part of the money because every, like, seven days you get to, like, pay out or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I told I told them also, you guys, we need to give them something. You know what I'm saying? Like, give us, let's give them our first check. So I just want to let you know that was my motherfucking idea, bitch, because, listen, I ain't no, like, I don't like hurting people's feelings. And I feel like, you know, in the beginning, like, you, we were all part of it. And we all kind of, like, you know, started the commotion. You know what I'm saying? We all started promoting mm-hmm. it. So I thought that was only fair, but yeah. that's how I felt too. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I was like, we need to give them a, our first check. You said what? I'm like, what's fuck? What did you say? That whole situation, like that mm. shit was full sale. Oh yeah, no, it really, it really fucking was. Um, it really was. It was. I'm talking to you. Somebody ringing my doorbell, but I'm still talking. I'm just kidding. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Um, mm. I yeah. really, really, really um liked your your answer when it came to you know the whole drama with Natalie. That was really. First of all, honest, real, and um, real as fuck. Because <laughs> I feel the same way. I'm like, you can't be mad at somebody for being themselves and who they are because they've not, they've never shown us anything different. So like, you can't expect more from somebody when they've always shown you. Yeah, like that. this bitch always showing us that she a snake. So it's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's like over the past couple of months, like we we had kind of. We had started like having more conversations on the phone like recently, and I was just like getting to know her better. And it was like, okay, she's cool, she, right? Yeah, she has. Yeah, a cool she's factor. she's so cool. She's so fucking cool. But that's she really, when she's not being evil. She's really cool. Yeah, I know. I know her. Um, I lost my my vape, but whatever. Um, I know her. Obviously, we went to each other's like baby showers and shit. Like. She will make you feel like you're her best friend and she's like so cool and funny and like she can be, but it's just nothing that, you know, you think like, oh, well, you know what? She's hella tight other than cameras. But then again, it's like, who you, who are you? Girl, Bina, I love you so much. You're I got the same. Friend. I got I this. You. Oh, you're my friend. <laughs> I thought you that. She, Girl. she, um, I got the same phone calls as you did. I have, I, sl- okay. I'm so sorry, Noah. Um, I, have messages that i have never put out because like to be honest with you listen erica i'm really don't give a fuck half the time i don't give a fuck um but i have messages saying oh you deserve it baddies 2 is going to be something great and she showed me the cast you were on it i was on it and some of the girls that are, are there right now were on it some were not and like showed me her whole like vision board of all of our pictures all our cast photos from whatever seasons and like I was like, okay, cool. Like, Sarah asked me to do, sorry, sorry. Sarah asked me to do her project. <laughs> Sarah asked me to do her project and, um, okay, I'll find another game. And I, I told Natalie about it and Natalie's like, don't do that. You're going to be on season two of baddies. Like, don't even fuck with Sarah, whatever, whatever. I mean, I wasn't going to fuck with Sarah anyway, but I just thought it was funny. So I, I kind of got the, Hey, hold on, bro. Okay, well, remember when Mama told you, you got to be quiet? Remember? I'm almost done. Here, watch this one, please. Watch the cats. Um, so I kind I got the same the same um, reaction, like, from her. Like, the whole, like, oh, you're this, you're going to be on it. Like, da, 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 like, all these false promises and stuff. And it's not even the fact that it's not being salty. It's not. It's like you were told something. You were told one thing, and you might have planned on it. You know what I'm saying? And um, And then when it gets shot to hell, it's like, what the fuck? Like. You didn't have to do all that. My thing is this, like, it went beyond that with me, though. Like, I was on the cast up until, like, 
four days before something to film. Like, oh, for it real? Was more than just her on, yeah, like I was on the phone with Zeus. I got casted by Zeus in January. Oh, shit. So you been talked to them and stuff. I didn't mm-hmm. know that, girl. Okay, what I happened? Been- They've been telling me don't take bookings on this day and that day because we're going to be filming and shit. So I've been turning down a lot of bookings and all that, which that's the only part I'm really pissed about. Like, I don't give a fuck about the not doing the bad and shit. I'm just pissed about the bookings and shit I was turning down because it's like, y'all got me turning down money for no motherfucking reason. You feel me? Like, that's what gets me in my Nicki Minaj voice, okay? That's what gets (laughs) me, bitch. Like, but all the other shit I really don't care about. But yeah, I was casted in like January. Um, I did a phone interview with Zeus. And they called me back like two weeks later and was like, yes, we love you. We want you to be a part of the cast and da 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 And um, we were supposed to start filming, but they end up start filming Bad Boys first. Um, yeah, but she told me about that too. Okay. Yeah, and then um, they were sending us all the all the girls on the cast. They were sending us like updated texts like, oh, you need to get this color outfit, that color outfit, X, Y, Z, da 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 this and that. We're pushing the back. We had a new film day, da 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 And then when it was time to go film, like, last month like four days before filming one of the other girls on the cast had hit me and was like yeah so you ready to fly out on what day and i'm like what and she was like yeah they just sent us the updated um text or whatever and i'm just like okay no didn't get that so i hit up natalie and she was just like i don't i'm gonna call you right back i don't know what's going on da, da, da. sorry <laughs> It's, you don't got to explain none to me, baby. I, I told her, it, it ain't that serious. You don't got to explain none to me. I'm not doing it. And that's just that. And then we move the fuck on. Like, you don't got to explain none to me because I already know it's going to be, no, 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 no. no yeah, no, no, no I know. And I, and I hate how she's like, oh, they're just mad. They're hating. And I'm like, no, not at all. Like, like nobody mad and hating. Like, that's the tea, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, if I was mad and hating and I was just thirsty to be a part of some shit, I would have just... Went Hold up like Sydney. <laughs> like, literally, I was getting into it because I didn't want to just do any fucking thing. So yeah. it's not that serious to me. Like, yeah, for and me too, girl. Like, the part that was blowing me was she knew I was no longer on the cast. And then when the fans was saying shit like, oh, why she not on the cast? And she all like, I don't know why she's saying that. She said why the same mad? shit to me too, dude. Why you, why? But why you acting like you don't know why I'm saying I'm not on the cast? You know why the fuck I'm saying that. Why are you right. trying to play crazy? Like, I love her so much. I don't know why she's saying that. Like, that was what was blowing me. Because it was like, girl, just ignore it and act like you don't see it or something. Don't try to make it seem like I'm tweaking right. and I'm really a part of the cast and I'm right. just lying or storyline. Because, no. Yeah, what for, you, for you me. <laughs> Where did my vape go? You got some snacks up in there? <laughs> um, Why you not I, wanna, I, wanna I forgot what I was going to say. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I, for me, when she did the whole thing, I told her straight up on text messages. I was like, I am not kissing your ass, homie. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not going to be on the show. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> and this was like months before, like, the whole, the whole I'm filming. I, I kind of cussed her ass out because, like, I'm not doing that shit. And then she's like, you don't have to kiss my ass to be on the show. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I don't think she wanted to have an issue with me on TV because she already knows it was happy. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm not a fighter. I don't like fighting. You know what I'm saying? I like like to have fun. I like to just, you know, learn and grow and, like, you know, be positive and shit. Like, you know, make, like, a business move happen. Like, why don't we do something together and make a fucking multimillionaire fucking profit on mm-hmm. some like business shit some like bad girl sub shit like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> another reason why i'm really not even salty at all the slightest bit thank you babe. the slightest bit about the- not being a part of it is because talking to some of the girls who are on the cast right now like the things that they've been telling me that they've been doing they have going on like that's not even no shit i would do anyways yeah like- yeah we're grown like i mean i love to have fun i love to have fun you know what i'm saying but like to have fun for a whole month and just party I don't know. I don't. I don't think I could kick it no more, bitch. I'm old. <laughs> Girl, yeah, I can't do that either. Though. But she had something like it was about to be like a business thing. Like it was going to be focused on each, each person's business. Like so and so got this going on with herself. The fashion she, show and the then. Yeah, and then. I know. That, but when I'm talking to the girls that's on the cast, like none of that's. It's been nothing of the sort going on. It's been yeah. No, I drug, know. sex, and rock and roll. Oh, Rocky yeah, roll wait. or rock and roll? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you like rock and roll, huh? Ooh. Uh, 
Um, so you know, there's a, there's a new Bad Girls Club. Uh, not Bad Girls Club. Oh my god, Bad Girls Boxing event coming up uh, June seventeenth or something like that. Um, it's mm-hmm. the Influencer Fight League and Bad Girls Boxing. Would I mean I'm not fighting, but I'm just hosting. Um, I'm not fighting yet again because. I'm just waiting. I need I need some real motherfucking money, bitch, because <laughs> I ain't got time mm-hmm. for no little shits. But exactly. would you I we got we got our girl Drea and our girl uh Key Marie against some of these Jocelyn Cabaret girls or, or Zeus Network girls. So we gotta support them. Go Key Marie. Yeah, go Key Marie and I know I don't know if you like Drea, but I'm just for the bad girls. Whatever bad girl, let all the bad girls win. <laughs> would you fight? Would you fight somebody? Like, would you be down to do a boxing match with anybody? Like, um, from wherever, any any show? No. You don't want to do fighting? No. Yeah. I I'm, take my piercings out and shit. You like, have to take all. To... I know. I was looking. I was like, you got to take all those out. <laughs> In order for me to fight somebody, they would have to pay me, like, a big, big bag. Because that means I'm going to have to alter my whole appearance and shit to get the training for these hoes. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, that's what I said. I was like, if I'm fighting again, I need I need some big bread, period. I'm not... I, what I did last time. I like the hosting and rapping shit. That was I fun. I love that. I like the video you did. I was like, damn, this... That was really cool of you, honestly. I think we should always use that as like um, a video for the Bad Girls Club or the Bad Girls Boxing. Oh my yeah, God. that's what Azim was saying. He was like, this needed them to be like the little theme song type of thing. Yeah, no, it should. It definitely should. I mean, it represents, you know, the brand perfectly. Um, I really like that you went out of your way to do that, which was cool. Um, okay, so no fighting for Erica. <laughs> she will rap. Listen, you a street fight on one of y'all hoes. If I ever need a new um a new fucking intro video, will you would you make me one? An intro video like for rapping my, like yo for 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 Baddie Life Baddie, podcast. Baddie, 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 Baddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean I you know what you're saying earlier, you're like um everybody's trying to be a rapper now and shit. Mm-hmm. I wanted to um comment on that because when I first got on Bad Girls Club, they were like, oh, like, oh, do music, do this. And I'm thinking, like, I, I did a couple songs. And I'm like, bro, I am not hard in the fucking paint. Like, this, like, there's no way, no way I'm about to sit here and act like I'm some gangsta bitch. Like, I mean, I get I get gutta gutta here and there. But I I ain't like that. And I'm not going to. Yeah, you got yeah, gangsta bitch. I just think shit. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not, like, going to sit here and act like I'm hard rapping a song. Like, if anything, I would do some, like, Cray Sean shit. Like. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. And I don't even wear I that shit. I don't even wear that shit. What? Pay for that. <laughs> Bitches be listening to that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know how to really make songs. So, you know, we should just do something fun together. I think that'd be fun. Um, What are you doing at the end of this month? You said, what about the end of this month? What are you doing? What am I doing? What's this, June? June, bitch. June. <laughs> I don't know. My birthday coming up in July. So this month, I'm going to try to... Stack up your shit. Hustle, hustle, get yeah. to it, working out and shit. Okay, We're, what? When's your birthday? July eighth. July eighth. Okay, bitch. Hey, I'm not gonna move it into my god. Yeah, what was going on at the end of this month? What's so, um, there's a Sinners Expo, um, convention in Dallas, Su- Suhan, Susu, and Hanan. <laughs> Sorry, um, are throwing this uh tattoo convention in Dallas. Actually, Dallas. And the girls, Jasmine and Jamie from season, I forget, they're going to be there too. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be a party, a a big fucking party, tattoo party. Um, I might get tatted there. I don't know. I'm going to be there all motherfucking weekend. I'll just see what you was doing, bitch, because I got a hotel room, got two beds by myself. It's in Dallas. In Dallas. It's at the Statler Hotel, which is like a really, I guess, a really fucking nice hotel. Never heard of it, but... Ooh. Bitch, you, bet, you come out, you can come stay. You got your own bed. I, I've been to San Antonio and. Maybe you can get a tattoo for your birthday. What's the other side of Texas? What? Cor- Krusty, Corpus Christi? Oh, Houston. Houston. I've been to Houston and San Antonio, but I've never been to Dallas. Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, and Corpus Christi. Yeah, all that. Who, Krusty? No, Who Corp- Krusty? Corpus Christi. It's where Selena used to live. Oh, it's I'm like. like- be like small town <laughs> um anyway i mean if you're down to make it you know i'm gonna talk to susu we can get you a nice fucking do you have tattoos mm-hmm. oh my god what the fuck yeah. I, all i see is your neck you all i see is nothing okay 
Well, I'm just saying. Go to Titty's house so you can see. Yeah, we should get we should get you a tattoo for your birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to her. That'd be nice. That'd be tight. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, I think that when you come back to uh Las Vegas, because last time your friend got COVID, because I wasn't gonna meet up with you, remember for your birthday. Okay, let me know. I, we, we'll I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was about, I was gonna meet up with you, so I'm gonna go fuck with Erica. You know, was, thank you for reaching out to me because I wasn't sure how you felt. I'm like, bro, listen, I'm I'm not with the shits. I'm not with the drama. I'm not with the nothing. No, I got no I problem. Know how the fans be. They was trying to gas it up and make us get into each other. That's why I be just hitting people up. Like, look, bitch, uh, 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 what's going on so far? Right. No, and that's really grown of you. And I really, I really, uh, I really respect that of you because you're you might like you might be um intimidating like. Your 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 energy, your attitude, your confidence might in- intimidate others, but like you're really not like you're not an ugly person on the inside. You're not a mean you're, girl, like, you are not you're ugly not- on the inside, like at all. And like even from the OnlyFans shit to like now, like you're just not. And like I like that about you. So I fuck Thank with you, you, bitch. Thank you so much. Okay, I have another question. What are you working on? Are you working on anything? Is there anything that the fans could go follow you on? Like, do you do YouTube or, or what? What do you? What do you got going on? If I guess follow, like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What you got going on? Like, I know you said something about you had a uh, your videos and stuff. Where's that at? Is that on your YouTube or is that on like your TikTok or is that on just Instagram? Yes, y'all subscribe to my YouTube. I have a series called Tea with Luchi V, and I touch on the hot topics in the world today. You know what I'm saying? And I talk my shit and I talk my shit. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Luchi V, L U C C I V E. You see me right here on the screen. And also make sure you stream my music available on all streaming platforms. Get my album, Guard Your Grill, too, because it's cracking. Guard Your Grill, bitch. You already know what's going on. Guard Your Grill, bitch. <laughs> that was such a good fucking spill, but I'm like, damn, she got that shit together. <laughs> <laughs> okay for sure thank you erica for coming on baddie life podcast and i will talk to you soon i have some things that i'm trying to cook up and i want you know other girls to be involved and um yeah let's get a fucking popping bitch let's get it yeah, popping that's good. thank oh. you for having me oh. see you know the girl i want some pizza noah <laughs> she's over there minding her business <laughs> all right thank peace. you baby all right see y'all bye thanks. noah come here you have to talk on the microphone now. Hurry. We got two minutes. Come on, it's your turn. Hurry, come on. Can she sit on this one? Hurry, come here. Sit down. Here, I'm going to help you. I need you. Noah, come here. Noah, please. I need your help. Come here. I want you to show them your fans, okay? Can you do that for me? Everybody's waiting for you. Okay. Sit down. Wait. Oh, I know these things. You here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on. Don't say anything yet, okay? Uh, uh, uh-huh. Is it that way for your friend, Carl? No, it's you're my friend now. Are you a doctor? Yeah. Okay. Are we on this together? Well, where's our side by side? Mommy, I don't know why it's your turn. No, it's your turn. Do we have a side by side up here? Okay, hold on one second, Kay. Look how cute you look at mommy's work. Hey, listen to me. Okay, I need you to be nice, okay? Okay. No, well, you're so little. Hi, Noah. Uh, hi. What's your name? Noah. Noah, what's your uh, other name? Three. Three? No, here, sit right there. Sit right there. You're how old? How old are you? Three. Three? Who's your mom? Who's your mommy? Look right there. Who's your mommy? Raquel. Raquel? Wow, you know my name. Okay, well, we are wrapping up this episode. I promised my daughter that I would let her talk on the microphone. So she was really excited about it. 
Um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Um, thank you, Erica, for being a part of today's episode. Um, thank you for my daughter for being a really good girl. Yeah, really good girl. <coughs> Show them your makeup. Close your eyes. Oh, so pretty. Um, and also another shout out to my sponsor. I love Bombshell, Gorilla Cross Studios here in Las Vegas. Shout out to you for dealing with me. And <laughs> um, I will see you guys really, really soon. Tell, tell, bye. bye. You hear the song? Dance. Oh, okay. Dance. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>